Brigadier General Mark C. Quander and Brigadier General Lori L. Robinson. The official party for today's ceremony consists of Lieutenant General Steve W. Gill, the 61st Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Brigadier General Mark C. Quander, the 79th Commandant of the United States Corps of Cadets, Brigadier General Lori L. Robinson, the 80th Commandant of the United States Corps of Cadets, and Command Sergeant Major Robert T. Craven, Command Sergeant Major of the United States Corps of Cadets. Please rise and remain standing for the playing of honors and the national anthem, and please remain standing for the invocation to be delivered by Father Matt Palakowski.
the 61st Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Steve W. Gillen, and his wife, Mrs. Betsy Gillen, will present Brigadier General and Mrs. Quander with awards in honor of their service to the United States Corps of Cadets. Brigadier General Quander, we invite you to the front to be recognized at this time. Done. The corners will, you know, they got a whole bunch of stuff on their plate with graduation tomorrow. And then heading out the door in order to take breaks down to Cincinnati and do some uh, school orientation. Of course, all of us know what a pack out means, right? And, if, if, and everybody's like, oh my gosh. I mean, as they probably, what did we probably have to do with you all? You're like 16 through, well, I shouldn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I, I say that because uh, you know it, it, it's it's super busy, but the fact that you all take your time to come down here and, and recognize, you know, not only Mark, but really it's Team Quander and the Team Robinson coming in is uh, is really important. Thank you for that. All right. So, uh, like I said, there's going to be more comments. You have to listen to me again and so forth. Uh, and say thanks to everybody for coming. Obviously, Team Quander. <coughs> Uh, and all the guests that have come in, no doubt about that, so I, I like what you have. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Team Robson, your family, and everybody that's here, we really appreciate it. You have to come far for some of you just down the road, which is a good thing. Um, and then, of course, recognizing the various uh, you know, supporting classes. Uh, mm -hmm.
from May 2021 to June 2023. Mrs. Squander's efforts contributed immeasurably to improve the quality of life at West Point for numerous soldiers, families, and cadets. Mrs. Squander contributed to West Point by mentoring and supporting cadets at every opportunity. Her loyalty and dedication to her husband's role as the Commandant included supporting numerous receptions, formal dinners, academy events, and sporting events. Mrs. Squander gave freely of her time in the mentorship and guidance of officers, families, and cadets through a myriad of activities in her tenure at the United States Military Academy. Mrs. Squander's selfless service reflects great credit upon herself, the United States Military Academy, and the United States Army. As Lieutenant General and Mrs. Gillen take their seats, we invite Ms. Grace Squander to the front to be recognized. A certificate of appreciation is awarded to Ms. Grace Quander for your support, service, and sacrifice from May 2021 to June 2023. You quietly shouldered burden and sacrifice while supporting and sharing your father, mother, and home with the cadets, staff, and faculty of the United States Corps of Cadets. We are truly grateful for your support and sacrifice and are very proud of you. You embody the true meaning of selfless service, and it is evident that you are committed to the principles of duty, honor, country. Signed by the United States Corps of Cadets Headquarters Team. Of the United States Corps of Cadets 
symbolizes the relinquishment of command of the unit by Brigadier General Mark C. Quander and the assumption of command by Brigadier General Lori L. Robinson. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-10, the undersigned assumes command of the United States Corps of Cadets, effective 20 June 2023, signed Lori L. Robinson, Brigadier General, Commandant, United States Corps of Cadets. of the United States Military Academy, <clears throat> Lieutenant General Steve W. Gillen. That's what, that what, that's what happens when you got to stand in, you know what I mean? But, uh, and they forget to tell you, you just, and Gillen, you're just going to walk up to the podium. Uh, and, and before we do start, I, I want to say thanks to the band, all right? Let's give the band a hand. <laughs> song who I mean beautiful voice thanks so much I mean where else I mean truly where else do you have you know the uh, the talent across America that we have here when it comes to our musicians and what they represent and our ambassadors for the United States military Academy. also want to I mean make sure I'm tracking we got live stream going right yes yeah, so there's a bunch of people out there on the net last count was like 4,000 or something like that yeah okay all right Distinguished guests, teammates, family, friends, some old grads from the class of 94. For those of you that haven't been here, let me welcome you uh, back or to West Point. For those who have been here before, welcome back to West Point, the home of the United States Military Academy. We really appreciate you being here today. Today's change of command ceremony is a time-honored tradition in our Army. It's, it's, it's where we witness the formal transfer of the command of the United States Corps of Cadets to Brigadier General Lori Robinson as she succeeds Brigadier General Mark Wander as the COM. And to thank Mark for his leadership over the past two years. So we have several members of Team Wander and Team Robinson here to acknowledge. First, everybody out in the live stream land watching today's ceremony virtually. Mark's mother, Gail, is out there. Hi, ma'am, how we doing? I know you're loving this and you're really proud of your son. Lori's mom and dad, Ellen and John, they're out there. Sir, ma'am, great to have you. I know you're really proud of your daughter also. The DePova family is out there among uh, family and friends watching. And welcome to all of you, and we are glad that you can take part in today's event. And to our families that are here today, of course, uh, Team Quander, uh, Mark, his wonderful wife, Melanie, and of course, their daughter, Grace, as we've recognized all of them up here today. Also, Mark's mother-in-law, Melody's mom, ma'am, thanks for coming and joining us. It's great to have you here, Ms. Carolyn. Of course, Lori's husband, Tom, and his family, like I said, just up from Stony Point area, right down the road, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Welcome to all of you. I think, uh, Mr. Castleton, you out there, sir? There we go, yes, sir. Thanks for coming up. Uh, he's one of our uh, civilian aides, the Secretary of the Army uh, from New York City. Uh, has a lot of uh, interaction here with the, uh, the United States Military Academy. Also, when you think of Tunnels of Towers, sorry, he's one of the lead coordinators for that and really does a tremendous amount of liaison between New York, New York City and ourselves. Thanks uh, for coming, sir. It's good to see you here. Uh, Admiral Kleiman, are you here, sir? There we are. Hey, there we are. Okay, we've got Admiral Kleiman down here. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you being here as well. So first, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank Melanie for her contributions and service to the Academy and our community over the last two years. I talk about it, it truly takes a village to develop and inspire leaders and to accomplish our mission at the United States Military Academy. And Melanie has been an important part of our village and, we've been, and we have been fortunate to have her in it. Whether it's her volunteer work with the Red Cross, 
her engagements with cadets, or her focused time with the women's basketball team, which depending on how it's going at that time, will determine the level of focus that she has, all right? She is absolutely committed to uh, mentoring and inspiring others. Melanie's a soldier for life, so I know her army story that she's passed along to these future leaders has been priceless. Thank you, Melanie. Betsy and I are absolutely honored to have been part of the team with you over the past year. Our mission at the United States Military Academy is to educate, train, and inspire the Army's future leaders of character, and General Mark Wander's leadership and vision as a Commandant of Cadets has ensured the leaders we develop and graduate into our Army are instilled with the military acumen, the physicality, and most importantly, the moral character to lead, fight, and win in the 21st century crucible of ground combat. Never satisfied with the status quo, Mark continually challenges and inspires the USAC team to improve leader development through the military physical and character programs. He's oversaw the most significant redesign of military science curriculum in five years to include expanding and redesigning the defense and strategic studies program to better prepare future officers for the future global environment. Building on past work, he and his team continue to improve cadet summer training ensuring it's both rigorous and relevant in developing the warrior and leadership skills for the 21st century battlefield. Of note was the return, to, of, uh, was the return of CBT or, or BEAST to Lake Frederick as a component and the addition of a crucible challenge that is conducted during BEAST's final week of training. He's championed efforts within the physical program to ensure cadets are well prepared for the demands of the Army profession. For some of you, you've heard me before, the Army is a team contact sport, that's how I view it, and our physical program has to match that. It includes implementing the ACFT, which is the Army Combat Fitness Test, as a graduation requirement, and overseeing the first ever external review of the Department of Physical Education, an effort which not only supported the Academy's accredi accreditation recommendations, but also led to the rewrite of the physical program strategy. Mark also led change and improvement within our approach to character development, Notably, leading the development and implementation of a comprehensive peer initiative within the core to help prevent and combat harmful behaviors, the ACT program. This initiative has been recognized by the Department of Defense and the Department of the Army as a model of excellence in use based overall prevention efforts. And along with Mark's leadership and commitment, which, which was felt throughout the core and the USCC team, we, he, he and the team improved the Academy's overall culture of accountability and prevention. These are just a few examples of the accomplishments and excellence on Mark Wander's watch. Simply put, we are developing better leaders who are better prepared for the challenges of today and tomorrow's Army, thanks to his leadership. Mark, you've had a huge impact on the Corps Cadets, the Academy, and our Army, and I know you will continue to have an impact. Thank you for your leadership and commitment to excellence these past two years as the COM. Good luck as you take command of the Great Lakes and Ohio River Division down in Cincinnati, Ohio. All right. If everybody join me in that. All right, so as we say farewell to the Quanders, we, uh, we're also welcoming uh, Team Robinson to West Point as uh, Rear General Lori Robinson takes command as our 80th Commandant of Cadets, okay? So here's where, it, this is where, you know, it's great to be the soup, obviously, right? It's, you know, you get to kind of inject whenever. So, so she's the 80th com. The great thing is about being the 80th com is that, you know, the soup, not that, was the 77th com, but it's really the fact that the soup was the com, right? That's a great thing. The not so great thing about being the 80th com, Commandant of Cadets, is that the soup was the 77th Commandant of Cadets, all right? It just all depends on what day it is and whatever the various topic may be. Uh, and, and, and I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Mark has reflected on the past year with Lori over the past couple of weeks about exactly that. What's, what's good and maybe not so good since the soup was to come. Lori returns to West Point after uh, successful tours as the, uh, the Deputy CG of the 10th Mountain Division, Climb Glory, and the 2nd Infantry Division, uh, in uh, second to none in the Republic of Korea. Now, of course, there's a little bit of Korea influence here going, all right? 
uh, we were fortunate to be in Korea. CSM Phil Moreno and his team, who is the Academy CSM, was the CSM for the uh, the, the 2ID, and now we brought in uh, and we brought in Lori as the C DCG from there. I'm looking for a lot of cadets posted to Korea. All right, over the next couple of years. Um, She's an exceptional leader with a track record of service and excellence all across our army in a variety of assignments, including combat deployments to Iraq, three to Afghanistan, and uh, she credits all of her success, I'm, and I'm telling you, this was as I was digging up the facts. So she credits all of her success to the class of 1994, <laughs> and her time in DMI when she was the aviation branch rep, okay? So Lori, we are glad that you so, posit so positively impacted you as a cadet and as an officer, uh, and welcome back to here. You've got a phenomenal re reputation throughout our, throughout our army. We're privileged to have you on the team, and this as this is one of the most challenging and most rewarding uh, commander experiences that it, there is in our army. There's no greater privilege and responsibility than developing and inspiring the army's next generation of future leaders. If leaders of character and preparing them to fight and win our nation's wars. So again, congratulations to you, to Tom, all of Team Robinson. It's great to have you here. Welcome to the uh, to the USMA team. Go Army, beat Navy. Thank you. energy is quite a bit different today, and that's a great thing. Um, Mr. Castleton, thanks for being here today. I appreciate your friendship over the past couple of years. Bull Walker, he's the uh, Chief of Staff of Representative Steve Womack, Chair of our Board of Visitors. And, uh, and, and these two men here traveled here today, and I just want to say thanks for coming up here and representing uh, your respective offices. Uh, your friendship over the past couple of years has been instrumental to us accomplishing our mission here at the United States Military Academy, and thanks for being here this morning. I'd like to recognize members of the class of 1995, my mom, Gail, who's watching online, because when I came in, I didn't recognize my mom. So, mom, I, uh, I have corrected my deficiency from when I came in. And, sorry, I'm not making that up. <laughs> And, uh, and family members who've traveled here, and while I can think that you came here for me, I know you're really here for the graduation that's going to kick off tomorrow night. So Grace, thanks for your impeccable time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Carla Loisong, I tell you what, you know, her and the band, and I know you talked about it, but uh, hey, let's just give them a round of applause because they crushed it. <laughs> And the last group I want to thank here is, so we've had a lot of folks that have worked to put this ceremony together, and uh, some folks that have been a part of our family over the past couple of years is our incredible team from DCA, and I know they work behind the scenes, they're probably over here in the 63 lounge, but I tell you what, uh, those folks have been absolutely a part of our family over the past couple of years. They support us with all the different events, they support our cadets to a lot of different things. And uh, we're really, really grateful for the friendship that we've developed with them over the past couple of years. I know that you've talked about it. Uh, you know, we have one mission, develop leaders of character for our nation. And, and this team, regardless of the environment, has never faltered in accomplishing that mission. We develop leaders that are able to lead, fight, and win in a crucible of ground combat. And that doesn't happen by accident. It takes a team. And you heard the suit say it takes a village. And uh, in that old African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child, is absolutely how we viewed any accomplishments that we've had here at the United States Military Academy. In a few days, we'll welcome the class of 2027, and that transition from civilian to cadet will begin. It'll be at the beginning of their long grade line. And I've said many times that the greatest transformation of my life has occurred here on these hollow grounds on West Point. And it's been an honor and privilege to be a part of that transformation for these young men and women. 
But this transformation takes a village that spans West Point and the United States Corps of Cadets. And that village is Brigadier General Shane Reeves, the members of the academic board, and all of our staff and faculty that provide world class, broad based liberal arts education so our cadets can compete intellectually in this complex world. And Shane, it's been an honor and privilege to work with you over these past couple of years. And, and relationships matter as our friendship began many, many years ago as Cleves and Yearly from the same company. And, and thanks for what you do for our cadets. We really do have a world class academic program here at the United States Military Academy. It's Mike Buddy and his team of coaches there at Army West Point Athletics. And Mike, I can't thank you enough for what you do for our cadets. 25% of all of our cadets are Division I athletes. Think about that. Who do you want to serve on your team in combat? Then someone who's out there on the field, in the pitch, in the pool. And when the odds are stacked against us, statistically, there's a lot of folks that we shouldn't be. But our cadets have the grit, the will, and determination to fight and to grind it out. And they do it because of our incredible coaches and the team there that Mike has. And uh, Mike, thanks for everything that you do for our cadets, all the, all the coaches, so that we can provide those commission leaders of character for our nation. It's Dr. Jeff Peterson. And Jeff, he, uh, when you talk about character <laughs> development, we all play a role in it. But he has been spearheading all of our character development efforts for the United States Military Academy. And he's been integrating it all so that it's this integrated process. And he's been doing it, really leading efforts for our Army. When we talk about West Point being a model for the Army, look no farther than Dr. Jeff Peterson and what he's doing for character development. Our focal mission here, developing leaders of character. Jeff, thanks for what you do. And, uh, and the result for all of this is what we saw last month when the class of 2023 raised their hands in Mikey Stadium. And they said they're going to support and defend our Constitution, and they're ready. A former boss of mine said our nation will not, not ask if we're ready, they'll expect it. And I can tell you that our graduates from the United States Military Academy are ready for anything that comes their way from those folks that I just talked about and the incredible work that they've been doing. I want to thank the directors within the United States Corps of Cadets that make everything work from this get, Nick Gist and his team at the Department of Physical Education for inculcating a health and holistic mindset with our cadets along with the grit and determination to go further, faster, and farther than they thought they could. Jim Riley and the incredible group and the director for cadet activities, which does everything from running the academy store, catering events, to overseeing 120 different clubs. So our cadets have incredible experiences while here at the academy. Yaz and Trey Rutherford, who together ran the day-to-day -day of the Corps in both the Simon Center and the Brigade Tactical Department. And our amazing group of tactical officers and non-commissioned officers who provide support to our cadets 24 seven and never falter in that mission. And finally, Al Warrior and now Adam Sawyer who are right now training our cadets during cadet summer training and they're doing incredible work. Two phenomenal command sergeants majors, Ken Killingsworth and Sergeant Major Rob Craven. We've had a lot of talks and, uh, and everything that you both have done has been about how do we make better leaders for our army. And I've been very, very grateful. A few folks from the front office, Todd Kelly, Dave Vance, Lambert, Terry Shields, Janet Bordick, Lauren Sight, Ginger and Jen. I couldn't ask for a better team of leaders. And I appreciate your wisdom and counsel and your leadership. And then I'd like to thank Todd Brown and Todd and Janet. Uh, Todd's the president for the Association of Graduates. He's in his last few days. And Todd, I'm not sure if I'm your last comment or where you're your last comment on. But you've had so many over the years. Uh, but our Association of Graduates does an incredible job for this academy. There's a lot of things that we can't do, or better yet, there's a lot of things that we can do because of the Association of Graduates. And Todd and Janet, thanks for your years of leadership here. You enable our cadets to have tremendous amounts of experiences, and it's all making folks better leaders of character. And so thanks for your years of service. Now, one of our goals at the United States Military Academy, as you've talked about, is to inspire the Corps of Cadets. And, and for those cadets here today, I got it. Our job is to inspire you, but I will tell you what, over the past few years, you've been equally inspired, LA and I, uh, over these past two years. And it's been your grit, your determination, the way you challenge us intellectually in the classroom. And, and
And I'll tell you what, the product that we're putting out is absolutely incredible. And so for the 4,400 members of the Corps, thanks for what you do. Uh, again, I know our job is to inspire you, but you've equally inspired us um, with your great toughness and willingness to serve. And so thank you. General and Mrs. Gillen, sir, you both have created an incredible, warm and inviting command climate for us and our spouses. Uh, we're going to miss the camaraderie, the teamwork, and, uh, and being a part of this great mission here at the United States Military Academy. And, uh, you know, when I get a call with Sue and say, sir, I'm sorry, i got to talk to you. Um, usually there are no easy solutions when you have those conversations. Uh, but, sir, you've, you've handled it with grace and, uh, and you've provided wise counsel as we've navigated some tough situations. And very, very grateful for your leadership. Um, and, and I have a much better perspective of the challenges that the superintendent has, so sir, thank you. Finally, to my wife, Melanie, when we arrived at West Point, you didn't know the difference between a yearling and a cow. And, uh, but I asked you to take a leap of faith and step out of your shell because I thought you had something to offer. And uh, this incredible community in the Corps of Cadets, and you just did, you did that anymore. Uh, and what you've done over the past few years is inspire the next generation to come back and serve a alma mater. And so, sweetheart, thanks. And to my daughter, Grace, you didn't sign up for this military lifestyle, uh, but you've been a trooper throughout it all. Three high schools, we're gonna graduate tomorrow, we're gonna have a party, it's gonna be great. And, uh, and then we're gonna be off here for, for college here in the next couple of weeks. Lori and Tom, welcome back. And um, I know you both know the United States Corps of Cadets. You have a lot to give West Point. It's only limited by your imagination. And um, I know you're gonna enjoy your time here, but I promise you'll go by quickly. And, um, and that's unfortunate, but it's, uh, it has been the greatest job I've ever had in my career. Uh, and I'm not gonna mix words when I say that. Serving as the 79th Commonwealth has been an absolute honor. Thanks for coming out today. And I'll go out as I came in. Go Army, be Navy. Good morning, and to all our distinguished guests uh, already recognized here today, friends and family, both here and viewing virtually, thank you for taking time uh, at your very busy summer schedules to be here at this ceremony today. Uh, a special thanks as well to the Eastman Band and Singer, who always adds a special touch to every ceremony, to our Major Craven, and everyone who uh, had a hand in planning and putting together this ceremony today, thank you. We are extremely happy to be here at West Point and joining this great USMA team, as well as the great Hudson Valley community that supports the Academy. Tom grew up just down the road in Stony Point, as was mentioned, and I grew up about an hour south of here in Patterson, New Jersey. So the, in, for the first time in both of our careers, we can truly say we have come home. General Gillen, thank you for the opportunity to serve as the 80th Commandant of Cadets. When I arrived to Korea last year, which was my first assignment uh, in the Army as a lieutenant, I thought I had come full circle. Uh, until I was notified of this assignment, which is really the biggest circle I can draw around my Army career. I honestly didn't believe it when you called, uh, because those who knew Cadet Turback, uh, which was my maiden name, uh, generally thought I would reach my full potential when I got promoted to first lieutenant. <laughs> So it's quite surreal to be here today. Uh, I am both honored and humbled uh, to have the privilege to now educate, train, and inspire the Corps of Cadets as the calm. To my parents and sister and her family who are viewing today in Texas, which is now where, where they live, I think my parents are also pretty surprised uh, about my new role that I'm assuming today. When I was a plea, I did not want to go back in the barracks after my first Thanksgiving leave in 1990. My mom sat with me on a bench just outside the cadet area for hours while I contemplated my future. I am sure she would have been just as happy to put me back in the car and take me home, but instead my parents gave me a little push and sent me back in. Mom and Dad, you'll be happy to know the bench is still there, and I sat on it for a while on Friday, thinking about how far I've come because of that little push. 
as well as the never-ending support you have provided to me over my entire career, regardless of where I was in the world. Thank you to my whole family in Texas, as well as the great family um, who is here, who has been with me from day one uh, for your love and support. To all of my siblings-in-law and your families here today, thank you for welcoming me into the Robinson family many years ago and for your enduring love and support to both Tom and I. We're very excited to be locals now uh, for all the big and small family events that we have missed throughout the years with all of you. Thank you. To my classmates here from the class of 94, with courage we soar. You're an amazing group of uplifting people who are always present to support any member of our class in good times or bad. I'm proud to be a member and I look forward to reconnecting with both you and many of your children uh, who are now here at USMA. There are three special people uh, that we lost this past year who are viewing this morning on Heavenly FaceTime. My mother and father-in-law, Tom and Joyce Robinson, who I know are super proud of me today, and Major General Retired Frank Tate, a proud member of the class of 88 who loved West Point and was my number one mentor, coach, and fan for 23 years of my career. Sir, I know you're leading a rocket up there for me today. I view this position as a way to pay back not just Major General Tate, but all of the great officers, warrant officers, and NCOs who took me under their wing throughout my career. Now I have the opportunity to pay forward the investment that they made in me to the future leaders of our Army and our nation. I don't take that obligation lightly and will do my best to model all of their leadership to the Corps of Cadets. Mark and Melanie, thank you for a great transition that started several months ago from Korea, PDSS in April, and continued over the past few weeks. I can clearly see the impact you have had on the Corps of Cadets, and I will do my best to continue the legacy you leave after your two years here. And congratulations, Grace, on your graduation from high school tomorrow. Best of luck in your transition and your next assignment in Cincinnati, and I hope our paths will cross again. And to my husband, Tom, our Army journey, journey continues with this next adventure. Thanks for taking care of just about everything for me. I know you will always be there, or at least between golf rounds. <laughs> I have been asked a lot of questions during my transition here, so I thought I would be upfront with a few things as I close my remarks. Yes, I am an Army aviator and a Chinook pilot, even at five foot three. Yes, I was a rabble rouser when I was a cadet. I look forward to working closely with Mike Buddy and Alpa as I continue to cheer for all Army athletic teams. And finally, no, I am not nearly as funny, nor do I have the social media presence as the Dean, but I think Shane and I will complement each other nicely and make a great team this year as we all give way and row together with the same mission to develop leaders of character committed to the values of duty, honor, and country. Thank you again. Go Army. Be Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the playing of the West Point alma mater and the Army song. Please feel free to sing along.
gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Brigadier General Quandner and his family will remain in Crest Hall briefly for those who wish to offer any parting words. Please also join in welcoming Brigadier General Robinson and her family in front for a receiving line, followed by a reception in the Class of 63 Lounge. Thank you for attending, and go Army, beat Navy.